extension of the uh, subway system in uh, Paris. Uh, Kilan Badlo is uh, with us. Uh, we're going to reflect a bit uh, and talk more about uh, what, what we will see towards the games uh, in Paris, but also about how we can include enthuse more people uh, for sports, but also uh, for inclusion and for sustainability. Uh, Kieran, uh, as you earlier uh, addressed with Dutch wave makers, as an athlete, you seize the opportunity uh, of the games when you are the big idol uh, to share a story. Can you uh, tell a bit more about uh, how you approach that? Well, you know, it all depends on the athlete, but for me, um I'm a windsurfer, I'm connected with water, uh, sort of the water and the ocean, they are my arena. So I'm really aware of the situation that's going on in the world. Uh, when we're talking about water pollution, uh, the availability of water, uh, and therefore also climate change. Uh, because it's my arena, I'm there daily, and I get uh, all the consequences of our pollution straight in my face and that really worries me and that's why I decided to start working with the Dutch wave makers because uh, we share the same the same vision and the same goals is to inspire the new generation uh, to to give them the tools uh, to, to have everything that they um, that they can make their own decisions and and realize what they find important and one of the things that I'm really proud of with the wave makers is that we go to venues um, and events and schools um, and create these water lab uh, for a kid for kids to experience uh, all these problems that we have in a positive way and learn about it and really get enthusiastic about it so we, that we can inspire them to do the right thing for the future and with events they have a great example of the Volvo Ocean Race where they go through all these cities and they create these water labs for kids to to learn about water, to learn about uh, climate change. And that really leaves an impact to the fact that um, in South Africa, there's now a wave maker academy. And it's not only in Holland anymore, it's, it's going worldwide. Uh, for me, it would, be, yeah, it would be amazing if we could do the same with Paris and the games, especially because I'm planning on being there. That's, that's not sure yet. But if I can get my connection with the wave makers and bring that to Paris and really create a legacy that we left Paris or left my arena, which is going to be in Marseille, a better place than when we found it, that will be one of my dreams coming through. Uh, Kian Badlu, thank you so much. This is really in the spirit uh, of the uh, Olympics, right, Maurits Hendrik? Yeah, I'm, I'm so proud when I see one of the Team NL athletes uh, so committed. And I think it's a great example where uh, this, this power of the Games is about building. It is about also securing contracts. But it's also about changing people's minds. And sports, our athletes, uh, the Games, have that power to make sustainable issues mainstream to make sure that the big public uh, makes it their issue and it's not only uh, corporate or it's not only the large or, or the governments that, that say it, but really bring it home to the people and say, what can we do?